in the last session just i introduced the basic terminology what is api what is web api or sometimes we can use the word web service sometimes we can we use the word web service next what is rest next what is the rest rest full api restful api and the django rest framework okay these words we discussed in the last last session right sir anyway whether it is the web api or api or restful api everything just aware only one point sir two different applications okay two applications can communicate with each other so something must be required for that communication what is that concept is api concept a java application can communicate with the django application by using web api so mobile application android application can communicate with the, can communicate with our django application okay by using web api to develop web apis to develop this web api so rest defines several guidelines defines several guidelines to develop web services web apis very easily okay so the apis which are developed by using the rest by using the rest is by default considered as restful api okay observe that next what about django rest framework sir django rest framework it provides a toolkit are getting it provides toolkit to develop to develop restful apis very easily restful restful apis very easily sir django rest framework provides a toolkit toolkit to develop restful apis very easily right that's what what you people should be aware okay now there is a next level what is the next concept i mean it's a library is only toolkit means uh, not it's a, it's a set of libraries a set of libraries a set of modules happily we can allow to use the django rest framework will provide some coding support okay which is nothing but libraries only okay right? now i have one very important point in the last sessions we covered very very clearly very clearly about this point sir do you know sir if multiple applications can communicate with each other there should be some common language must be required are getting there should be some common language must be required can you please spell out what is the common language we are using anyone can you please spell out sir especially web apis what is the common language we are going to use the common language a hey, common language language okay which can be known by any person is http remember this the common language is always what http next the common message format common message format message message format is json json next the r xml xml okay like json xml etc http is a protocol http is a common language what the, the people are going to use what the different applications can use next the message format should be json or xml right okay that's all this is just the, the small general words whatever we discussed in the last sessions right next the, a bit very important for the interview room say okay just aware just theoretical theoretical touch anyway we are going to discuss in detail while implementation is going on don't worry sir how many types of web services are there very very important question for the interview room sir how many how many types of web web services are available anyone can you please tell yes friends anyone how many how many types of web services are available available anyone can you please tell there are two types of web services are available just aware that there are two types two types of web services are available what is the first one sir soap based web services soap soap based web services soap based web services second one sir rest rest restful apis restful restful web services are you getting right rest restful restful web services right there are two types of web services are there. 
the first one so base the second one sir respond but anyway we require to discuss about respond only but still i want to touch in this area because in the interview room sometimes may be a chance to ask this question that's why compulsory you people should aware sir okay can you please tell so base at very top level so base is the old concept i mean not old sir so base is the having some problems earlier it's the most commonly used but these days the trending type of web services are restful only okay immediately you ask what problems are there with the soap base sir anyone can you please tell there are i hope several people who are coming from java background java background especially you may give it what are various problems are there with the soap yes hmm good what are various various problems are there with the soap base first what is the what is the soap what is the soap simple can you please tell simple object simple object access protocol simple object access protocol this is the soap soap means uh, simple object access protocol like uh, sir what is the problems with the soap why the people are always using why the people are always using these days restful restful only the reason for that is soap is always xml based remember this one sir very very important soap is always based on xml xml based sir it's always going to provide message format only in xml format so soap web service is always going to accept the data only in xml xml based it is xml based sir next xml xml is the sir you know heavy weight component it is not lightweight sir heavy weight heavy weight component xml because in the xml message if you observe the original message there is at the top you can see envelope regarding at the top you can see envelope it is a normal data how much is there extra information is that much is there in the xml sir xml the biggest problem is a heavy weight regarding heavy 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 weight sir heavy weight first thing the second thing is in in web services the data should travel over the internet over the network over the network via internet the data is required to travel from sir provider application to consumer application the data is required to travel if it is a heavy weight then the biggest problem is bandwidth high bandwidth requirements will be there are you getting high bandwidth requirements will be there okay next uh, do you know so parsing xml data parsing xml xml data parsing xml data like uh, do you know parsing xml data itself uh, is not that much easy so it required obviously performance is going to be sir is going to be affected it is it is uh, so performance of the processing will become slow down just uh, take a bit very very special care sir so in the soap based web services so based web services okay so it is always xml based uh, heavy weight heavy weight components and that's why more network bandwidth requirements will be there next more network bandwidth requirements will be there parsing xml parsing xml okay is a, a bit slow process so obviously it is going to be affected it is performance will be affected right next uh, implementing so based web services implementing so based very uh, web services are very complex sir. not that much easy sir remember this one implementing so based web services are a bit complex okay like so because of several problems because of several problems the people are not commonly used uh, so based web services these days remember this one sir okay like next uh, uh we know that so if the vendor specific need to follow their own protocols and no common protocols uh no need not be need not be need not be uh we know so uh, uh we can uh, so common common protocols also also will be there need not be vendor specific okay uh what parsing parsing means uh converting xml data into suppose uh i'm i'm writing a python program 
I want to parse XML data. I have to read XML data. I have to read XML data, whatever, whatever there in the in the XML. So that is reading XML data. Okay, is by default considered as parsing. Getting right, Suresh. Reading, reading the data, and the, we require to use that data. First, I have to read that data XML to our Python object. I want to convert, which is nothing but parsing. Okay, there is a uh, one here. Just observe. So, SOAP is XML based protocol for accessing web services. Next, to describe web services, very important, sir. To describe web services, compulsory we should have one special language. Anyone can even to describe, to expose our web services, SOAP based, sir. There is one common, there is one language we have to be aware. That person is the responsible to expose the services, sir. You know, have you heard about this one? Web service. Uh, have you have you heard about this uh, this one sir web service description language visual are you getting visual visual some people may use visual visual means uh, do you know which should use we require to use that visual to expose uh, web services to the web web services web services to the partner applications remember that so so based uh, there are multiple problems are there to overcome these problems compulsor we should go for next level what is that concept sir rest but uh, anyway sir do you have any advantage of soap base when compared with the rest do you have any advantage of soap base sir? yes there is one biggest advantage is there sir the data the data we know more secure remember this one when compared with the rest when compared with the rest if it's the soap base the data is more secure secured Secured right, okay. So no one, no one is going to hamper my data over the network. It's the more secure when compared with the some rest based web services. Clear. So if any person is asking, if any person, if if any any person is asking, what is the difference between so based and so what are various limitations of so based? Very simple, sir. It's always XML based. It's always XML based. Next and after that XML data passing is very difficult. Implementing so based web services are difficult. Next uh, heavy weight, heavy, heavy weight component of this XML. Okay, like uh, performance is going to be down. Then obviously it is the slow, slow, slow type of web services. So slow type, right? not that much fast when compared with the uh, RESTful web services, right? Next, uh, what are various advantages? Can you please tell? What are various advantages? Advantages of so based when compared with the uh, the first important point you have to tell more security. The data will be the data will be will be sent. The data will be sent maybe some encrypted form or otherwise maybe. So in there is some envelope envelope style will be there maybe maybe. So it is the more secure when compared with the rest. One important point. Second advantage is there sir. What is the second advantage is? Yes, sir. here just to take very, very special care. There is a second advantage is also there for the SOAP. If you consider our REST, if you consider our REST, REST, REST is always based on HTTP, sir. Remember this one. Of course, the people are going to tell REST supported any protocol which has URI, which has URI means, sir, HTTP only. Okay, REST out of 100, Sir, 99.99% of the times, REST is always based on HTTP. <coughs> REST is always based on HTTP, sir. Remember this one. But, uh, but uh, if you consider SOAP, uh, SOAP can provide support for multiple protocols. Sir. Remember this one. SOAP can provide support for multiple protocols. Like, uh, HTTP can be supported. HTTP can be supported. Next time after that, you know, SMTP can be supported, FTP can be supported, like that. So, please make sure these two are main important advantages, right? Of course, HTTP will provide support means HTTP, yes, also, Praveen. HTTP, yes, is a special form of HTTP only. Okay? <clears throat> Any doubt? Yeah, yeah, what's the ready? Welcome, don't worry. So we are always going to work with URL and URI, these kind of things. Don't worry. So in our next level, it will come. WSDL means Web Service Description Language. Okay, Web Service Description Language. The name itself indicates, right? So to describe our web services, to expose our web services to the partner application, 
there should be some special language must be required that special language itself is wsdl Uh, the data internal data format internal data format supported by soap based web services is more secure than rest the web services sima getting right xml data is more secure than json something like okay so can you please observe that can you please observe just uh, very because anyway we are not going to implement so based on just theoretically just you people should be aware sir so can you please tell what are various problems with the so based web services so based web services will always provide data only in xml format only in xml format parsing xml data is very slow which creates performance problems point number 1 transfer of xml data over network requires more bandwidth okay transferring data from provider to consumer transferring xml data required more bandwidth next the implementing soap based web services are very difficult okay next what are various advantages of soap based when compared with the rest what advantages you can able to tell sir the first biggest advantage more secured more secured second advantage supports supports various protocols supports various proto protocols okay remember supports various types of protocols like http ftp smtp like multiple protocols are supported by so based on web services that's all so if we implemented then we should be in a position okay to to tell more more detail but anyway at a part of django we are not having any such type of requirements so that's why don't worry about that just aware for the intro your room sake these words <coughs> getting right yeah yeah we know maybe maybe any uh, there is no length limit for data if it is so based like uh, so maybe maybe the people especially who are coming from java background they can able to tell very easily sir okay now what is the next cinema rest of web services right sir rest rest full web services here just observe that rest of full web services sir can you please tell what is rest any abbreviation is there for the rest any abbreviation is there for the rest ah remember this one representational representational state transfer observe give it very very carefully sir representational state transfer okay rest rest means uh, representational state transfer okay it means uh, each unique url each unique url is uh, associated with is a representation of some object okay remember that each url is a representation representation of an object representation of an object object means resource resource right object object means resource resource representation of an object next we can get the contents of this object so i want to get content content of this object by using get okay if you want to perform if you want to create a new resource by perform by using post if you want to update that content by using put by using put if you want to delete that comment the delete that content delete that object then automatically delete have you observed all these things are by default considered http verbs we will discuss in detail don't worry about these words okay so each url is the representation of an object is the representation of an object by using http verbs we can perform operations related to that object okay so what is the rest what is the rest rest itself is nothing but what representational state transfer where each url is the representation of an object by using http verbs we can perform operations related to related to that object right okay then now immediately you may ask sir what are various 
advantages are there if i follow if i follow what are various advantages are there if i follow rest rest web services right the first biggest advantage please make sure sir the first biggest advantage advantage is uh, what is the limitation in the soap based web services what is the limitation sir it's always going to provide it's always going to provide supports data in xml based xml xml based but here most of the rest of web services are json remember this one json okay most of the most of the restful web services are always going to provide the data data in the form of json okay xml and json what is the difference is xml is the heavy weight sir xml itself is the heavy weight json itself is light weight remember this one heavy weight light weight components okay a simple sir i will i will show maybe in my system maybe there maybe there somewhere one minute observe that this is emp.xml emp emp.xml sir employees data is available in the form of xml assume that sir assume it is the it is the xml xml form but the same thing if i can go for json have you observed right are you seeing are you seeing so just uh, have you have you observed the difference right if i can go for xml if i can go for xml how the data looks like sir just a hundred this one is going to be as our field name is equal to dot 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 and so on but if i can take the same thing by using json okay here yeah, json have you observed right very simple very simple okay this is so which is the heavy weight which is the light weight now by seeing this terminology you are in a position to understand sir so json itself is a light weight remember this one light light weight okay if it is the light weight if it is the light weight happily traveling over the network will become very easy parsing will become very easy do you know when compared with the so based web services sir the biggest advantage of restful web services here do you know it requires less bandwidth to send json data from provider to consumer one thing next it is a speed performance is more speed is more when compared with the soap based web services right okay transfer of json json data over the network required less bandwidth less less bandwidth sir okay like so here this is next we had uh, to expose our services okay some special language must be required in the in the soap what is that special language visual wsdl regarding visual must be required web service description language but here no such type of requirement directly we can expose directly we can expose our web services by using urls we can we can expose uh, directly no special language like this type of thing is not there so less lightweight lightweight next and after that less bandwidth requirements less of bandwidth requirements less bandwidth requirements next up more performance high performance i can use high performance high performance next up. any other any other special words are related to the restful web services because of lightweight high performance less bandwidth requirements next easy development easy development remember this one easy development next human understandable message format human understandable human understandable message format message format do you know if i will give if i will give sub just xml data or i can please read if i can give json data yes everyone can able to understand so human understandable message format so these are keywords related to okay restful web services right what is the first keyword lightweight but if it is the so based of high weight heavy weight heavy weight sir here less bandwidth but there more bandwidth requirements sir sir high performance but there low performance easy development but their development will become more complex sir. next human understandable message format xml data is understandable but when compared with the json readability is low getting 
so because of these benefits uh, the most commonly used type of web services are restful web services okay but anyway sir all these words slowly while our course is going on you can get much clarity sir okay so for soap based web services dijango won't provide any inbuilt uh, inbuilt support for to develop rest 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 web services rest web services yes sir definitely this is going to provide dijango is going to provide dijango rest framework because rest is our future okay soap is uh, was the history remember that very rare the people are going to use everywhere if you go for enter your rest rest is the it's a very common terminology because of this added advantages right yes obviously session are you getting right now can you please tell there are there may be there may be some problems also related to the rest one one problem is one one problem is let's say q let's say q when compared with let's say q when, when compared with let's say security is less when compared with okay like next and after that there is one more one more limit do you know if it is the soap it provides support for multiple protocols bus soap services happily you can expose you can you can expose by using http you can you can consume by using http ftp smtp but uh, rest web services sir supports only protocols which has uri uri which is nothing but something like http mostly it is the http sir smtp sorry not possible ftp sorry not possible like this right okay next uh, there is one more difference we know this telling so in the case of uh, here data data there is a limit is there on the data what we are going to send okay limit limit restriction is there limited amount of data i'm not sure let me cross check again let me cross check but anyway just aware limited amount of data only we can send by using rest of web services the amount of data transferred from consumer to producer or producer to consumer is always there is some limit is there but which is not having limit there getting right yeah yeah okay so why i'm telling this point is because if you go to the interview room if any person is asking do you know api rest api then immediately next question what is the difference between soap based and the and the what we call rest based web services even we never implemented but still we should be in a position to answer just the basic idea at very top level just aware getting that anyway the required things we are going to implement don't worry just now are you in the position to talk few minutes about soap based web services and restful web services right yes friends yeah less is less yes rest is less secure when compared with soap okay sir so just observe all the differences i want to take in this small table form okay class if you want you can take i will include in our material don't worry about that sir so just uh, observe a bit carefully about this one <clears throat> okay now i'm um, here just uh, have a look once sir what is the soap based what is the what is the soap soap based and then what is the rest just i'm um, providing uh, soap based and the rest sir the first point sir it is always so xml based message protocol correct or not xml xml based xml based based uh, sir message message xml based message protocol protocol so itself is xml based sir protocol but the rest is it is not a protocol sir it's not a protocol it is a architectural style it is a arch architecture architectural style okay architectural style it is one architecture sir okay it is not it is not protocol it is not protocol it is architectural style it is not a protocol sir next uh, second important thing sir it uses wsdl for communication between consumer and the provider okay a special language required what is that special language right wsdl okay wsdl required to expose our services 
so consumer and the producer provider can communicate can communicate sir with the a special language wsdl okay like sir other side we are not uh, do you know sir we are we are not we are not going to use any wsdl remember this one so no such type of special language requirement no special language requirement right okay no wsdl is required in this case it's not not required sir next uh, here you know how to invoke services very important point very important point in the case of soap based web services if you want to access if you want to access any soap based web service how you can the partner application has to perform rpc calls by using rpc rpc method calls rpc method calls we can consume we can consume so based web services okay so based web services we can we can consume so based web services right by using rpc rpc sir protocol but uh, if it is the rest uh, we are not required to use any method calls man directly by using url path we can consume sir we can we can consume by using by using url by using url path we can we can consume okay rest of services here we have job line sir here ws real requirement is there but here no such type of requirement sir how you can access right by using rpc method calls have you observed right so rpc method calls may be which may be the reason why so based web services are very secure but here here any person with a url any person can able to access restful web service right that may be the reason why these are not secure any person can able to access but here by using some special rpc method calls these so based web services can be accessible okay like next uh, fourth point sir fourth 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 one sir here you know does not return human readable result correct right so does not return does not return return human result human human readable result okay but here the message format is always what json json it is always uh, human readable very easily the <coughs> very easily the people can able to understand right next uh, these are heavy weight i can use the word heavy heavy weight heavy weight is xml based but this one is uh, light weight light light weight observe that this is the heavy weight and this is light weight next uh, requires uh, more bandwidth more more bandwidth requirements more bandwidth requirements but here less a bandwidth requirements less less a bandwidth requirements just observe that sir less bandwidth requirements next one sir can provide support for multiple multiple protocols can provide support for multiple protocols like uh, http http smtp like http smtp ftp etc can provide support for multiple protocols like uh, sir http smtp ftp but can provide support only for protocols which are having uri which is nothing but mostly http mostly http right okay now performance is uh, can you please tell performance is more or performance is less oh respond more performance or less performance ha ah, less less performance performance is less performance is less less performance right but the same in reverse okay high performance or more performance we can we can expect more performance right okay more more performance next uh, security wise yes more secure more secure more secure but here less secure are getting but here less less secure less secure that's all next up one more thing one more thing sir here just i require to cross check sir here there is a no limit on data no limit on length of the data length of the data okay i require to cross check this this point anyway right okay now now here there is a limit limit on length of data correct i hope it is going to be acceptable the reason for that is in the case of in the case of so by using http protocol only we require to send the data 
obviously at the end somewhere there should be some limit sir somewhere there should be there should be some limit but uh, it is uh, by using xml a special format is going to be used uh, to transfer data to transfer data that's why maybe there may not be may not having any limit on length of the data okay clear friends yes that's all so so based restful web services but without implementing <laughs> we didn't implement single so based single rest rest based web service but still we should be in a position okay to talk at least some few points in the interview room okay once uh, 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 just once once uh, okay we we covered at least the rest implementation at the end uh, we may require to recheck again all these points okay don't worry about that getting right any doubt so that's all this is one question at least uh, we should we should act like uh, yes we know so based web services rest based web services we know we know that at least uh, that related terminology we are going to use that's what you people should aware sir do you know most of the google web services most of the google web services are so based sir remember this one most of the google google web services are so based so based on the maybe security maybe criteria i'm not sure most of the yahoo based web services are yahoo yahoo based web services are rest us up do you know you may use ebay ebay amazon amazon these web services are they are using both the, sometimes they are they are using soap sometimes they are using rest do you know so these are days but anyway more frequently rest is the more frequent user but still some areas still some areas okay this uh, soap may be a chance to use okay some something like no restriction sir i want to use only smtp non non http protocol then obviously my choice should be so only i want more security then my choice should be so only no alternative at all okay but anyway in python in django we are always going to implement we are always going to use rest based only i'm not saying anywhere so based web services in the django related rest rest any doubt all the people are in a position to understand right okay just uh, there is one more small point i have to talk about these things do you know just uh, http methods regarding http methods methods some people may use the word http verbs also verbs verbs like this right sir suppose i'm sending http request now have a have a look once sir i want i want to send a http request http http request i'm i'm just taking one http request sir so here web application is there i'm sending http request sometimes our requirement is to get the data to get the data from the server sometimes our requirement is to put the data to the server sometimes uh, our requirement to delete the data which is there in in the server side or to update the data which is there in the server so which operation we are performing based on that we have to use corresponding http method or http verb remember this one sir we require to use corresponding http method or http verb methods methods or verbs anyway the people are going to use so what are various http verbs are possible just aware clearly right what are various http verbs verbs are possible do you know get get sir post have you remembered from our childhood onwards you know what the difference between get and post what the difference between get and post most important question for the entry room get post next uh, put are getting put next uh, do you know there is one more word very important sir patch patch next and after that uh, delete delete just observe these are most commonly used some more things are there these things i will discuss first let me show some some idea right sir get 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 means uh, do you know sir get 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 i'm talking get means uh, to get uh, one or more resources i want to get uh, 
to get the to get the one or more to get the one or more resources sir suppose employee data is there i want to get one employee record or i want to get all employee records i want to get all employee records then we require to go for get get sir next post means to create to create a new resource to create a new resource then we require to go for post remember this one sir i want to create a new resource then we have to do that we have to do that post post like this right i want to do i want to create a new employee i want to create a new employee this is about my requirement right how you can okay well sir similarly similarly put is there similarly put 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 is there sir one minute just uh, i want to show have a look once sir do you know forget about this code forget forget about this 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 code sir just i'm commenting this have a look once uh, this code this code especially forget, uh, we will we will discuss all these things in detail sir do you know which request i'm taking can you please tell which request i'm taking r is equal to request dot get get uh, sir what i'm asking is boss can you please get the first employee record information can you please provide first employee record information sir i'm asking about get 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 means to get the data from the server okay to get the data data from the server first employee information like this right if you are not going to specify this one this part now boss i want to get all employees data i want to get all employees data like that right both so to get one employee record or to get all employee records we should require to go for get them okay well next uh, sir take very special care forget about let me comment this code let me let me comment this all these things i have to explain in, in our in our course don't worry about this because these examples i covered for offline students now have a look once sir here here what is this one a python please respond what is this one a python dictionary a python dictionary employee number employee name employee salary employee address okay right now which method i'm calling can you please read this one request dot post request dot post data is equal to new employee are you getting data is equal to new employees ha huh? can you please create this new employee in the database in the database for that which thing must be required sir post is required to be here are you getting the clarity friends what is the difference between get and post practically you can if you want to get one resource then we require to go for get huh? if you want to create a new resource then we have to go for post can you please tell when we should go for put please confirm then we should go for put 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 good to update to update your resource to update update your resource i want to update your resource then we have to go for put 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 sir i want to perform updation pass employee salary employee address employee number can you please update can you please update then we require to go for put put method sir can you please tell when we should go for patch hmm i hope first time in rest api only i heard this word <laughs> okay first time only i heard i heard this word okay few days before but luckily we should be uh, good patch the people who are already familiar with web services they may aware this words or this terminology when we should go for patch when when we should go for patch best example sir do you know on the road on the road sometimes uh, on the road uh, just the patches they are going to they are going to keep patches patches are getting patches sir patch means uh, is it partial or full have you observed partial or full full just the partial partial just a small patch a small patch on the road they are going to just uh, keep so something like a partial update partial update full updates means a put meter partial update means a patch meter remember this one sir observe the difference suppose just a change 
just a change EMP salary. EMP salary, one or two properties, that's all. Hey, can you please change 10 properties? 10 properties, update 10 properties, put method. So one or two properties patches the method. Next, uh, can you please delete a resource to delete a resource to delete a resource? Then we should go for delete. Okay, please make sure these methods, HTTP methods, are very commonly used. HTTP verbs are most commonly used in our REST API. Are you getting right? If you want, uh, if you want to get the resource, get the method we require to use or get the get verb we require to use. If you want to create a resource, post. If you want to perform updation, put. If you want to perform partial updation, patch. If you want to delete, then obviously delete is the word. You should have clear clarity, right? Sir, what about remaining HTTP methods? Is, these are the only HTTP methods? These are the only HTTP methods? No. There are multiple other 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 things also available. Options. Regarding options. Next, head. Options. Head. Connect. Connect. Trace. Connect. Trace. Okay, move, move, lock, profound, move, lock, profound. Like uh, there are multiple things are available. But anyway, but anyway, these things are related. These are the most commonly used, but these things are very rarely. Don't worry much about if you are if you are going to use, then I will explain in detail. Sir, partial updation and a full updation. Suppose employee is there, sir. For the employee, almost around the 10 fields I want to update. 10 fields I want to update. It is the major updation only. Then better to go for put method. Sir, I want only one or two properties. One or two properties I want to update. Then better to go for patch. Patch means, sir, just one or two. A small updation. Then we should go for patch. On the case you are getting? Yeah. Sir, what about these are various HTTP methods, right? You should have clear right. So limit maybe maybe as of now. So just partial updates means patch. By implementing, we will discuss if there is a limit and so on. Celebrate. Getting friends. Okay. Now one more small important point I have to discuss. Sir, do you know database CRUD operations? Have you heard about this one? Database CRUD operations. CRUD, CRUD operations. It's a very common, sir. In the REST API, CRUD, CRUD, CRUD. Do you know sometimes total REST API is going to talk about CRUD only? Okay, that's why you should have clear clarity versus HTTP verbs. HTTP verbs, sir. So now my question is C. If I use a C, what is the C? C means what? Create. Can you please create a new resource? For this, which method we require to use? Hey, which HTTP verb we require to use? Just now I told. Create a new resource. Create a new resource. First is the thing we require to use. Next, uh, sir, R. R means what? Uh, retrieve. R means uh, retrieve. R, read. Read. For this, which HTTP method we have to use? Retrieve. Read. Which HTTP method we require to use? Get. Get is the method. U. U means. U means uh, update, sir. Update, update operation. For this, which HTTP method we have to use? Which HTTP method we require to use? Put R patch. Put R patch patch. D means delete, sir. D, D means delete, delete, delete. Okay, like delete for this. Which thing must be required to use, right? Delete. That's all. Okay. These are sir just the CRUD operations versus HTTP methods because very commonly we are going to use just better to get the clarity. Getting up to this any doubt? Okay. That's all. So now the next thing what I have to discuss. Sir, so up to this, what the difference between web services, 
what the what the difference between types of web services next uh, uh, what is the http verbs what we have to use and so on like uh, all these things are very clear right next uh, one more small word i have to discuss for you people right uh, you can very easily can able to understand you can very easily easily can 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 able to understand right okay what that uh, it is the stateless only was there already stateless only we will discuss that okay what is the next uh, a small thing i have to discuss sir web service web web service provider web service provider versus web service web service consumer nothing nothing is there sir very easily you can able to understand the person who is going to consume is called consumer the person who is going to the person who is who is going to provide is by default considered as provider okay simple sir if you consider okay the application which is providing web services is called web service provider the application which is consuming web services is called web service consumer the person who is going to consume that person is called consumer the person who is going to produce that person is called provider okay well provide best example if i consider book my book my show application just uh, observe that sir book my show app is there book my show yeah is required to communicate with the payment gateway application payment gateway application sir book my show yeah required to communicate with the payment gateway application through web services okay well now the point is in this scenario who is the consumer who is the provider who is the consumer who is the provider can you please confirm yes payment gateway is the provider book my show application is the consumer because because this person require services of payment gateway that's why so book my show itself is consumer person this person is called a provider observe carefully sir any doubt okay because very commonly used word uh, consumer provider like that. nothing it is just i'm providing clarity beyond that nothing sir okay so very simple very simple let me go for let me let me let me talk about sir a simple application level thing sir but uh, before that one small thing i have to discuss with you what is our topic name dijango please confirm dijango rest framework regarding dijango rest framework rest framework or rest api sir first almost around 10 classes okay i want to explain web services i want to explain web services web services without the rest api <laughs> are you getting are i don't want to use the rest framework i don't want to use the rest rest framework framework i want to i want to explain how to create my own web services dijango purely by using dijango i will i will explain sir once you are getting the clarity okay about what is web api how to develop web apis and so on there okay i will use the rest of framework so that you can give a oh internally these things can be done very easily with this framework that the maja you can able to get sir are you getting so tomorrow uh, my client may tell oh you don't use any framework you have to create your own api your own web api you require to create can you please download can you please download right api for put operation right api for delete operation like this right so how we can able to do that how we can do that okay first uh, i will use i will develop web api on my own better to consider durga web services once you aware these web services next uh, how you can use a dijango rest of framework to develop web apis i will explain so that the maja of this rest of framework you can get next uh, without rest of framework still we are in a position to develop web apis for our application any doubt friends are you in the position to understand right okay simple by using dijango only 
I want to develop web APIs. I don't want to use the REST framework. I don't know. I don't know the terminology of REST framework. First 10 sessions. So that, so if everything you are going to do on your own, you will get much clarity on the subject. Okay. Once you are getting full clarity, then I will introduce the REST framework. So these are the things, whatever we did manually, these things now automated by using this framework so that our life will become very easy. Next, internally what thing is happening, you will get much clarity. That's why I want to do difficult part at the beginning and then sir, easy part at the next level. Is it good programming, right? So that you will get internal things. Next, uh, tomorrow future is always easiness will be there. <laughs> okay, that's why. So first uh, 10 sessions, I don't want to use any rest of framework. Okay, simple how to develop the things I will explain, sir. So first let me habitize some programming terminology, okay, to start our coding. What I have to do is, uh, how many new members are there who are not my old Django students? Either directly or indirectly. Sir, I never heard I learned Django somewhere else. I came here only for REST API. Anyone there in this session? Ayo. Can I expect everyone either directly or indirectly my Django students only? Uh, Subo. Uh, Django where you learn? Yeah. So just one good news or bad news for you people to attend these Django REST framework classes compulsory you should wear Django. Okay, if you don't know Django, then these classes are not suitable for you people. Remember that. Okay, Django must be required, compulsory. You require to give it. Okay, because it is the Django REST framework. Okay, well. Uh, so the remaining people, can you please tell? Yes, I learned Django somewhere else. Anyone there? Can you please? Aryan. Okay, well. You know clearly Django, right? Any other person? Any other? Because to continue this rest framework, compulsory you require. Next, my what we call, you know, just uh, I want the environment setup. Environment setup, I want, I want to explain. The people who don't know about uh, Django, then these classes are not suitable for you. First, you should learn Django, and then you got to come to this area. Okay, maybe good news or bad news. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, now, Aryan, uh, just uh, usually to develop my my Django applications, I'm always going to use Atom IDE. Okay, Atom, Atom IDE. Just uh, how to install this Atom IDE. It's a very, very simple, very simple, sir. Just uh, you can go for atom.io atom.io io here just it will be there it will be there just uh, download are you getting just a uh, download click click exe file only atom.io download and click you are not required to set anything sir just uh, you are not required to set a download and execute exe file automatically in your desktop yes this atom by default will be there if you open that then you can able to see okay it's a very easy just install that next time after that one more thing i have to i have to tell for you just uh, the people who don't know about the atom okay after atom installation okay just after atom <coughs> Yeah, after atom installation, so just two things you have to take care Python auto completion, Python auto completion under Django. These two tools you require to keep in the settings, just very easy, sir. Just observe that. Okay, 
once you installed once you installed this okay in the so file okay settings will be there file settings will be there in the settings uh, install install like uh, there are two packages you require to install one is yes in the search bar just a type python auto complete python just if you can type uh, python python just the packages yes here we have joined auto complete python auto complete python just install if you are going to get install button just install so that python auto completion commands will come will come okay like next and after that one more django related also just type django atom django will be there just install okay that's all okay these two things you people should should aware i mean Okay, I hope I shared already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, these are things. Yeah, Vijay. Uh, let me let me check that by jump. So just uh, I will I will take uh, definitely some some sessions on that. Yeah, Vijay and uh, Vaishnav. Okay, definitely some sometime I will use PyCharm, but okay. Uh, Atom is better than PyCharm? No, Aryan, no, no, no. Atom and PyCharm both are IDEs, but both the things, even PyCharm is a more more uh, what we call uh, powerful, more more been uh, useful even than Atom. But why the people are going to why the people are going to use Atom is uh, it is the it is the freeware. But by jam, you have some license agreements. Getting right? Yeah, that's it. So Atom is the most common user. Atom is the most common user. <clears throat> yes, only Visual Studio, maybe. Yes, sir. Because there are multiple things. There are multiple, multiple things are available. Okay, for multiple IDEs you can use. Visual Studio, you can use PyCharm, you can use Atom, you can use Spider, we can use like multiple things you can use, but nothing will be there. So somewhere, uh, even Sublime Test, <laughs> next, uh, any without ID, just Edit Plus also we can use. Normal Notepad also, but generally, okay, application level we can. Yeah. Now, here just uh, take a bit, a bit, very, very special care about this one, sir okay next uh, here what is the what what i want to i want to explain just to take a bit very special care you should aware how to uh this atom must be there for the new members especially please make sure atom must be there in your system okay well now the first level what i want to do is you have to familiar okay write uh, a django application so this knowledge i'm expecting from you people write a django application to send the html response html response http response type right? html html response next to send the json response json response how you can are you getting json response how you can you require to familiar with the json kind of terminology i will i will explain how you can send a json response okay from the django application these things we will we will discuss in detail don't worry sir okay directly i will go for application first uh, slowly you have to aware array write a function based view or just uh, write write a django function to send the employee data in html response form in json response form how you can able to do that that part we have to discuss okay can i start 